Hello everybody, welcome back to Sit and Crochet and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a yoke for all size cardigans. Before we go any further, have you subscribed yet? Be sure to join the family and like the video. So let's get right into it. So before we begin, the things that you need are a top that fits you perfectly well, measuring tape, uh, paper and pen, somewhere to write your notes for the math, and uh, a gauge swatch. So you can just chain about a hundred or so, and you can leave it for future references, but um, the whole idea is to test the tension. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to grab your measuring tape and we'll measure our top. Like I said, you want to get a top that fits you perfectly well, especially around the neck. And I'm just going to measure the neck opening to see how much I need for the back. And for me, if you can see, it's about 9 inches. So now, with my 9 inches, I'm going to grab the chain I made of half of double crochets and I'm gonna measure nine inches to see how many stitches that's gonna give me. Don't pull it, don't stretch it. So it's around here and I did this off camera so I know that there's 34 stitches right here. So the next thing we're gonna do now is the math. So you're gonna grab your paper or diary. Okay and I drew this, this is to represent the back, these are the arms, and this is the front, this is where the opening will be. And since I got 34 stitches from the from the back, what we're going to do is we're going to take this 34 and divide it by 2 to get the front, which has given me 17. 17 for this side and 17 for that side. And to get the sides, which is the arms, where the arms are going to be, what you're going to do is the 17 divide it by 2, which is going to give me 8.5, but we're just going to take 8. Um, so we're going to do 17 plus 8, which is going to give me the 25, 25 stitches, which means for the arms, I'm going to need a whole total of 25 stitches. Let's do that again. Um, 9 inches gave me 34 stitches for the back, which divided by 2 is giving me 17 for both front panels and 25 for my sides. All of this added together is giving me a total of 118 stitches. However, we've got four corners and in this four corners is where we're going to be doing our increases, which means we need to put an extra stitch for the corners so we're just gonna add four which is gonna give us a total of 122 stitches so this means for my size i need to start with 122 so i've got my yarn in my hook and i will make a loop and then i will chain my 122 you will chain however much you need. So I'm going to do this off camera so I can count properly and I'll meet you once I've got my 122. So I've just finished chaining my 122 and next what we're going to do is chain two to begin our work and then we're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook with a double crochet. And so that's going to count for two. Since we're starting with the front, we're going to go into the first 17. So I've already done two, meaning I've got 15 more. So I'm just going to finalize this and I'll meet you once I've done. So I've just finished my first 17, which is this side of the front. Now we've reached the corner. And what we're going to do is yarn over, half double crochet into the next, chain two, and into the very same stitch, we're going to go back in there with another double crochet. If I said half double, please forgive me. So that's our first corner. 
and which is this side. Now we're about to do the arm side, which means we're going to go into the next 25 for me, however many you need. I'm going to go into the next 25 stitches, and once I've reached my 26th, I will stop there to meet you there. So I've just finished going into my 25, and it's time to do our next corner right here. So into that, we're going to do as we did before. Insert a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet into the very same chain. And we've just completed this side. And now we're going to do the this back portion, which I'm going to go into the next 34 stitches with a double crochet. And I think by now it's starting to make sense. However, let me just complete my 34. I'll do this off camera and I will meet you once I'm done with the 34. So I've just completed the 34th and we'll do this last one together and you can finish off the rest by yourself. So into the next we'll place a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet into the very same chain. So if we're gonna look at the diagram, it means we're here now. So I have to work into the next 25, repeat the corner, and then into the next 17, and I'll meet you once I have completed this section. So I've just finalized the whole thing, and now this is what we have. So if we lay it down, we should be able to see what it's gonna look like when it's complete. Um, and there we go. We have our 17 in the front, 17, 17, 25, which is going to make the arm, and 34, which is the back. So now, um, all we're going to do, do is go around, make increases in our corners, and we'll do that together for the first round. So um, I'm going to chain one. Turn over and into the very first, which is right here for me, I'll insert a double crochet. That's going to count as our first. And we'll work into the next 17 until we reach this very corner. So just going to put my yarn over the side. So this pattern, it's very easy to um, make for any sizes. You could make a gift for anybody, for a baby, all you need is the measurements for the neck to be able to know. If you want it to be slightly oversized, you can just increase the inches around the neck. If you want it to be slightly smaller, a bit more tight, you can just decrease the inches around the neck. Because from here on, all we're going to do is work in the rounds, increasing until we have reached, until it's able to reach our underarms. And I'll demonstrate that later. It's going to get more clear as we go. So I have arrived at the corner that we just made. So as we did before, all we're going to do is into this uh, little triangle is we'll place a double crochet, chain two into the same space, another double crochet, and then we'll go on, working as we have been, until we reach the very next corner, and I will do that last one with you, and I will let you carry on from there. So I've arrived at the next corner, and we'll do as we did. Double crochet, chain two, and back into the very same space, another double crochet, just like that. And it's getting bigger, and so you're going to keep on working until you reach your next corner, and your next corner. After you've done several rows going around, increasing in the corners, this is what it should start to look like. And this is now showing you what it's going to look like. These are the arms, and this is where the body is going to go. So you're going to do your measurements. You're going to put this yoke on top of your top, 
and you're gonna see if the arms have reached around where your arms are this is quite a small one that i made recently so i don't entirely have a top for this but that's what you're gonna do and now i'm gonna show you how to just concentrate on the body part so you're gonna get started on your side as i did earlier and when we get to this corner that's what we're gonna do some things a bit different i had already gotten started on my side so about the um the underarm all that we're going to be doing is chaining and based on your size you might want to put this on you first the yoke you might want to put the yoke on you and see how much space you need to connect on your underarm because the chains will be different for everybody and now i have reached the last one i have reached the corner so usually with chain one i would do a double crochet chain two and then another double crochet but this time i'm just gonna do two double crochets in there and now this is the part where we chain since this is a quite small one i'm just gonna make four chains if yours is quite bigger you can make six or you could just give it a go if when you try it on these two corners are touching properly without much struggle you might want to keep the chain small like three four or something like that so i'm gonna make four just like that and now what you want to do is allocate your next corner which is this one in my case and we are over grabbing your next corner which is this one i'll place two double crochets in there just like that so just to make it clear what we've done we are working on this side we started at the front We started at the front, we've worked to this corner, we have chained four, and we have just connected to this corner because our focus is we want to work in the rounds just for this front portion. Okay, so after you have oops, sorry, after you have done that, you're just gonna continue now. This is the back portion. You're just gonna continue working normal double crochets. And I shall meet you once I have reached the other corner so I can show you how we do that again. And so now I've got one more stitch to work into before I reach my corner. And now, as we did earlier, we'll just place two double crochets in there, chain four. and find my next corner which is this one right here and place two double crochets in there and then i'll continue working to the end of the row just like that and now what we've just done, we've just divided the um the body portion and the arm holes. So from here on, um working is you're just gonna do as you've been doing normally. When you reach the end of the chain um the end of the row, you chain one, turn, place your first double crochets and just work in circles. There won't be any more increasing we're pretty much done with the increase portion because when we increase what we're trying to do is separate the arms and the body to create the arm holes and the body so i've reached the last and to turn chain one turn your work and into the very first chain place your double crochet just like that and you keep working so let me go on and I should meet you as I have reached the chained part 
So I've just arrived at my chain full area. And what I'm gonna do is I'll hold my wood, I'll hold the chain like this so it's easier for me to see. And place my double crochets. That was the first one. This is the second. This is my third. And this is my fourth. There we go. And then I'll go on. As if I'm doing normally. Just like that. And I'll go on and I'll meet you once I've reached my other corner so we can do that together. So we've arrived at the next corner and as usual, you'll make sure you're folding the chain towards you so you can see properly. And you work into um, the number of chains that you made. I'm going to work into my four. This is the third. And this is the fourth. And now I go on to finish the row, which is now this is the front portion now because this is the last section that I have to do. I shall meet you once I have finished the row. And now this is what the work should look like. You now can see that we've started to divide the arms from the body so once you've done your body and you've got the desired length all you're gonna do is find a corner and connect to work around for the arms and you're gonna go on with the arms until they're long enough and that's about it you've made your yoke and you can do this for all sizes you could go very small you could go very big and if this is slightly a bit bigger then you made your top, of which as we did, as we measured, we went slightly overboard. And you want it a bit smaller, you can just decrease around the neck. Where, um, when you're making the neck ribbon, you can start with a row of single crochets. And you could do, you could place one single crochet in every two or something like that. Just to give the neck a bit more grip. And that's about it guys. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe.